two Chiva villagers, Elias Mirema and William Jesh, have been sentenced after being found in possession of explosives, catapults, and homemade rat poison at the recent commissioning of Makimamavi Primary School by President Emerson Numningagwa. The incident, which occurred on May 30, 2024, has sent shockwaves through the community and raised serious questions about security measures at high-profile events. Magistrate Sharon Engzango, presiding over the case, initially sentenced Mirima to 10 months imprisonment and Jesh to 8 months. However, she later commuted these sentences to 210 and 175 hours of community service at Nzima Secondary School, respectively. The court heard that Jesh, upon arriving at the school commissioning ceremony, was searched by police officers and soldiers at the entrance. He was carrying a satchel containing a Jiangshan emulsion explosive paste, a catapult, and a homemade rat trap. When asked to produce a license for the explosives, Jesh admitted he did not possess one. The explosive paste, weighing 200 grams, was seized, and Jesh was subsequently arrested. During questioning, Jesh implicated Murema, who was also apprehended. Murema, claiming to be a builder, told the court that he had used the explosives to drill a borehole at Luck Sun Kagura's homestead in Masvor village. He alleged that he had given the remaining explosives to Jesh after completing the task. The incident has sparked widespread concern about the security protocols in place at such high-profile events. The presence of explosives and other potentially dangerous items at a school commissioning ceremony, attended by the president and dignitaries, raises serious questions about the effectiveness of security checks. It is a worrying situation, said a local resident who wished to remain anonymous. How can someone walk into an event like this with explosives? It shows a serious lapse in security. The incident has also highlighted the potential for misuse of explosives in rural communities. While Murima claimed to have used the explosives for a legitimate purpose, the possession of such materials without proper authorization is a serious offense.